The power of changing oneself lies not in the mind, but in the body and the feelings. Unfortunately, however, our body and our feelings are so constituted that they don't care a jot about anything so long as they are happy. They live for the moment, and their memory is short. The mind alone lives for tomorrow. Each has its own merits. The merit of the mind is that it looks ahead. But it is only the other two that can do. Man has no permanent and unchangeable I. Every thought, every mood, every desire, every sensation says I. And in each case, it seems to be taken for granted that this I belongs to the whole to the whole man and that a thought, a desire, or an aversion is expressed by this whole. In actual fact, there is no foundation whatsoever for this assumption. Man's every thought and desire appears and lives quite separately and independently of the whole. And the whole never expresses itself for the simple reason that it exists as such only physically as a thing and in the abstract as a concept, man has no individual I. But there are, instead, hundreds and thousands of separate small eyes, very often entirely unknown to one another never coming into contact or, on the contrary, hostile to each other, mutually exclusive and incompatible. Each minute, each moment, man is saying or thinking, I and each time his eye is different. Just now it was a thought. Now it is a desire. Now a sensation. Now another thought. And so on. Endlessly. Man is a plurality. Man's name is Legion. Try to understand that what you usually call I is not I. There are many eyes, and each eye has a different wish. Try to verify this. You wish to change, but which part of you has this wish? Many parts of you want many things, but only one part is real. It will be very useful for you to try to be sincere with yourself. Sincerity is the key which will open the door through which you will see your separate parts and you will see something quite new. You must go on trying to be sincere. 
Each day, you put on a mask, and you must take it off, little by little.